Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up and work with different shoot side jobs. So shoot side jobs are really slick when you've got them working properly, but if you have a few things missing or um, people at the barn don't know how to use it properly, it gets really tricky. So this video is just going to be specifically how to set them up and there'll be another video to, to go through how to use them. So to get to shoot side job set up, we're going to go to fusion admin setup shoot side jobs and when you click on that this list window here is going to pop up with all the existing shoot side jobs that you might have um, if you're just starting with fusion this list will be blank and we'll be working with you to, to set up some some good jobs to start off with so i think the easiest way to to go through this as it's a pretty intimidating task at first is to look at a job that's already been set up and some of the parameters and how they work and and what makes them different so I'm going to look at this first one here uh, that we've called 1A Processing Fall Calves. So this name is what the guys at the shoot are going to see when they're selecting a job. So um, using numbers makes it easy or um, just so that they kind of come through in order probably of the most often that they're used. Um, but really you can call them whatever, whatever you want. So under this general tab, we've got a name. Uh, you can specify it by location. If just anyone can use it, that's great. Um, you might have a, a default job set up that any location can use, and then you might go and you might duplicate that job and make it specific to a different location depending on the, the drugs they have at that location or how they want to manage it. For this one, we're going to leave it as any location, and then we select the default billing category. So everything within this job will fall under the default billing category of processing. Say you were doing an induction type billing category, you wanted it all to show up there, you could change it to that. Now later on there will be sub jobs with this job that you can specify specific billing categories, but we can just leave them blank and you'll know that they all fall within the processing billing category. Uh, this little check mark here is handy if you don't want the job to show up in the job list at shoot side. So if you're just working on a template, trying to figure out how it works, uh, just deselect that. Um, otherwise, they'll be able to see it and they might use it at the shoot side. Um, so most of these defaults that are selected when you create a new job work pretty well. Um, if you wanted to go through the specifics of these, uh, feel free to give the documentation a read by clicking down here or give us a call and we'll go through it. Um, but for simplicity, we're just going to leave the defaults alone. And then you work your way through the different tabs along the top. So let's go to ID stacks. Under ID stacks, um, this is where you'd create a different group of tags. So if you had um, a management tag or sick tag in this case, you would do that here. So to create a new one, you just hit plus. We're going to give it a name. So the guys at shoot side see it. We're going to call it management tag. Bear with me. Management tag. And then. Um, these custom IDs are set up in your setup preferences and then animal IDs. You can see them all here. So if you needed to add a new one and make it active, you could do that here. Um, so we'll just play with custom ID five just to keep it simple. Um, and then our starting number is going to be one. As a default, obviously the guys at shoot side might want to change it. Maybe they're starting from 150, the next group of animals. So then you're going to make sure this is checked off so they can they can allow them to change the starting number. And uh, the count direction will be up. You could also add some prepend things or um, uh, upend. And down below it gives you an example of how that's going to look. So it gives you a pretty good idea what to expect. So an important thing to remember is once you've created the ID stack, you need to make sure the ID stack is part of one of the sub jobs. So we're going to look at sick tag. I'm going to remove the management tag just because the sick tag will do what we needed to do. And then we're going to move on to normal sub jobs. So with any job, the first thing fusion will default to give the identify animal and that's just scan the RFID tag or do a query search to find the animal. Um, but then you can have all these other sub jobs. So change attributes if you want to be able to make it so you can select what sex the animal is specifically rather than just a lot default so you have animal based information you would add this sub job just by clicking on the plus down here 
and when this change attributes option isn't in the list I'll take it away for a second it then shows up down here so let's move that up um, then there's get weight so that's just a, a scale reading fusion's gonna look for the animal weight if you've got a scale hooked up and then we've got give implant so that's just part of the job the label is give implant that's what the guys at shoot side will see and then it will give them this default drug or implant as is the case here um, that, so that they know to use so if you want them to be able to change the implant during the job setup you're gonna leave this checked off if you want them to be able to change the implant during the job which you probably wouldn't want but in a rare case you might you're gonna hit this check mark and if you want them to be able to give two implants for some reason during the job you'd have this selected but with implants probably not ever gonna have to do that that would be more with like a drug being applied um, and then this check mark here use the same amount for every animal makes sense with an implant it's just gonna be one and it's sec selected here that they can change that one implant per animal up here um, you might deselect that as um, you're probably not going to need that but again you need to manage this to work the way that works for you and this default billing category here if you were to have left this blank it wouldn't um, it would just default to what you selected over here your default billing category but because we've changed it to processing if you wanted to change it to drugs um, in all of the the billing information associated with this group of cattle the implants would be put into the drug billing category and you could just see that as a separate line item kind of give you an idea of what you spent on implants for those that group um, next we've got a, a, a drug option which is give Ivamec the default drug is Ivamec we're gonna use the same amount for every animal which is 35 cc's now for um, the case of a drug where you have it set so it's a certain amount per hundred weight um, you would deselect this and then fusion will look at the the setup of that drug and say if it's 10 cc's per hundred pounds it's gonna give you the amount based on the scale reading for that animal now to keep things quick and to just flat dose everything you're probably gonna want to leave it as use the same amount for every animal but allow them to change it during job setup depending on the size or the weight of the animals coming in and again the billing category is set to processing um, another drug give IBR and they've given them the options to allow the product to change during job setup and allow them to change it during the job so maybe they might run out at some point during the job and they've got like a substitute drug that they can use they could add that or use that drug for the rest of those animals and use the same amount for every animal two cc's so these are just a bunch more drugs that they're going to be giving and you can see that they're all being billed out to processing so the next important item is your sick tag number so this was the lot or the ID stack that we created earlier your sick tag number so to create that you're gonna add the change custom ID and you're gonna select ID stack which has been selected for sick tag number so I'm just gonna remove that we don't need that there so ID stack the ID stack that we get to choose from is one of the ID stacks we created from before so oftentimes it'll just be one and then because we've set the ID stack to start from one and count up you don't have to add anything more to this information list but for example say there is a custom ID uh, maybe the cattle were coming in with tags so you would want that to be uh, a text entry um, that way that gives the guys at shoe side the availability to enter in what whatever maybe it's r35 or um, j27 they're going to just want to do a text entry and the id to change is one of those custom animal ids set up in your preferences so um, when we change this label name uh, it will reflect in the shoot side job as to what they see and it will also fill in down here change animal id but i'm going to take this away is just an example here's a color tag so this is an example of changing a custom ID except um, they get to pick from a list so there's only so many colors that they can use so it's for quite easy to give them a list of things to choose from and they can change it during the job setup maybe there's a new color that you don't have on this list you want them to be able to add it 
Next, we'll go into Age Verify. So an Age Verify is using the CCIA information of that animal um, just to do a quick check. And these animals we put into the queue of the age verification process in Fusion. And um, as you can see, we've got it set to check immediately from the job. So that might take a minute to, to happen. Um, that's why it's giving you the notification. It's usually best to let the server check this later on. That way it doesn't slow down your job process. Um, a shoot charge. So if you've got an animal running through the chute, you're going to, you're going to want to add an input so that gets billed out properly. So the label is shoot charge, the input is shoot charge, and the default amount is 1. Now, oftentimes, you don't need the guys at the chute to know that you're billing out for the shoot charge. So you would just hide this. This is a good example of that. Um, so it's still being performed, it's still being billed, it's just the guys don't need to see it. Now in the case where you want to skip a job by default but still have it show up in the list, we're going to unhide it and hit skip. So this would just make sh this would have shoot charge show up as in the sub job list at shoot side, but it wouldn't be billed for unless they unselected skip. So where this comes in handy is if you've got um, maybe a certain drug or something like that that you would just want skipped by default, but maybe they're going to add it once in a blue moon on a certain job they could change that during job setup. So then I would want to allow changes during job setup so that they could change it so it doesn't default to skip. So for our shoot charge, we're going to default that to hide and they don't need to be able to change that during the job setup. Next, we've got a tag fee. So we've given them a sick tag or a color tag. Um, we want to make sure that's built out properly. So default amount is one tag. This one is being hidden, but if you're giving them two tags, like a sick tag and a color tag, then you're going to want to bill out for two. But if you're just giving them a sick tag, they already had the color tag, you just want to associate it with that animal, you're only going to bill out for one. And you could track stats. That way, at the end of the job, you could see how many tags were billed for and just make sure that that lines up with the, bill, the, the tags that were actually applied. Um, this is a, a different one but change slaughter date for an animal um, might be something that you're going to want to apply. It's totally up to you. Um, but if you click on the plus button, you can see there's more options down here. So if you're doing a treat job, you're going to want to add this treat sub job. If you're going to be relocating them, you might do that. Um, give it a temp, give it a lung score, all sorts of things like that. Um, so if you're doing a treat job, you might want to get, get temp. Um, but this is a pretty good example of, of different sub jobs that could be used. If you have more questions about that, please feel free to reach out. Thanks for watching this video. In the next video, I'll go into a bit more detail on sorting, on the fly rules, and windows.